got an in on till eight seconds with a linen warehouse in Rochdale. Come on. So you are Luke, after all. That's right. Hello, Saffron. I'm your grandmother, and that means I get a great big hug. So, Luke, this is Suffering. Suffering? Hey, this is your dad. Oh, yeah. Your mum tells me that uh, you're some sort of student. Yeah, teacher training. You look lovely, just like your mum. I'll get the tea. No sugar for me, thanks, Martha. Right you are. And Saffron will have uh, anything fizzy with a busload of E additives. <laughs> or water would be fine if, if you've got nothing like that. Oh, that's good. I don't know many little girls her age who'll drink water. Well, she's good as gold. She'll eat anything. Oh, that's good. That's good. She's got a big appetite. Now, who do you think she gets that off, me or you? <laughs> what would you like to say? Well, I hope you've got a sweet tooth. Sorry about your mum. Why didn't you answer the door when we came yesterday? I'll put the kettle on. Well, you never know who it's going to be. Why did you run after the car in your socks? Because I wanted to catch you up. Why are you sorry about my mum? Well, because I loved her. So did I. Oh, I can't get over it. I thought we'd lost her. Now there she is, all grown up. Well, you'll be able to make up for lost time now. Oh, I'm going to spoil her rotten while she's down here. <laughs> That's right. I bet you will. So would you make a London, then? So, Luke, teach your training, eh? Let's hope you don't have to teach kids like me. I don't think there's much chance of that. You don't get much time to do anything else, I expect. Oh, he's never got any time. When he's not studying, it's football, girlfriends, computers, something or other. Very full, then, your life. Not so full that I can't make room for my own daughter. Oh, easy as that, is it? Hmm? You know all about it. Well, it was certainly an eye-opener for me. There you are. And I'd done it before, of course. Yeah. And he had some very, um, warm memories. Grandad likes whiskey. Sorry, love, what? Grandad drinks whiskey in a big glass. Do they sell that? Does who sell it? At your golf club. If they don't, you just have a beer. So, who did you think I was exactly when I came to the door? Is it man? I just wondered what you were so scared of. Run. Those old saints, eh? <laughs> Did Danny talk about me much after she left home? Not really. How do you mean, not really? Did she ever mention coming up? I doubt it. What about her mum dying? Didn't she talk about that? Look, we'd already split up when Annie found out she was pregnant. What? She only told me I was a father a year after Saffron was born. Oh, all right, I get it. And you didn't want to know? No. 
I went to Manchester and found it. Said I'd move up there, make a go of it. And? She didn't want me back, all right? All right? Twice she changed her dress without telling me, and twice I tracked her down, all right? Second time I found her, she's with this other bloke. I said I still wanted to support Saffron, and I sent her a check every month. But then I noticed checks weren't being cashed. I went up to Manchester to find her, but she'd moved again. So you finally took the hint. All that running she did. But she never ran back to you, Harry. I would have welcomed her with open arms. Yeah, like you really would. You know nothing about my family. I know enough! I know the reason me and you never met was because she was scared about you taking a gun out with a black boy! I knew that made me so angry that I couldn't stay with her. So if you're looking for someone to blame for the fact that your daughter never came home, take a good, long look in the mirror! All right! All right! All right, son! Here, going back. No, no, no. Come on, lads. No, you shouldn't have gone a bit here. No, no, that's what you fellas call a domestic. Harry, shut it! No, no, his name is Luke John. We're having a family row! Oi, oi, that's it. This is the truth. Get in the car. It's, it's a family row, I'm telling you. It's... I'll just settle her down and then uh, maybe we could have a nightcap. I don't think so. Oh, come on, don't be like that. It's years since I was arrested outside of Boozer. I'm glad it's funny for you, Harry. How did your wife get on with Annie? Joyce? Oh, she could get Annie to do things without Annie knowing it. Me? I'd be up there ranting and raving with her. Even after she left us, Joyce thought she'd come back. And maybe she would have done if Joyce had lived. But... Well, it broke her heart. She died six months after Annie left home. She lived for her, you see. You must miss her, your wife. I miss my daughter, too. I just didn't realise it till now. Do you like, um, apples? How about tomatoes? Uh, do you like Tommy Hilfiger? It's all right. Um, rollerblading, netball, football. They're all right. Is there anything that you like that you'd like to tell me about? Wrestling. I like wrestling. Take you to the States, if you like. See the real thing. Great. How are you getting on with your dad? It's cool. Oh, good. I'm glad you think so. He'll be a good dad. I'm glad to hear it. He knows all the names of the different trainers and that. Well, that sort of a very good quality in a father. Yeah. I'm glad you like him, love. <laughs>